welcome to bsc statistics student this is what uh, another problem in t test for uh, two means small sample case small sample test so this is another kind of problem i explain here uh, please see the problem now the heights of six randomly chosen sailors are 63 65, 68, 69, 71 and 72 inches. So the data is given. The heights of six randomly chosen sailors. It is given. That is six. For example, a first sample, N1 is equal to six. We see whether any other samples are there. Okay. So let us consider one sample. The size is six. So, therefore, it is a small sample. Therefore, it is a small sample. And continue the problem, continue reading the problem. Those of 10 randomly chosen soldiers, which means uh, the heights of 10 randomly chosen soldiers are you know, some 61, 62 and so on, the data is given 73. So, therefore, another sample it is also given the size 10, that is N1, N1 is equal to 6, N2 is equal to 10. So, this is what uh, the sample sizes of two particular samples and the data is given, their heights are given. So, therefore, you have to do what uh, you have to conduct the test procedure. Continue reading. Test whether sailors are on, on an average taller than soldiers at 5% level of significance. The question is, we have to test whether sailors are taller than the soldiers or not, whether sailors are taller than the soldiers or not, at 5% level of significance. This is what the problem, which means uh, on an average, if a specified average, that is we have to consider the mean test. On an average, uh, they are taller than the um, soldiers or not, we have to test, so therefore you have to consider a means test. Hope you understand this is what uh, the problem of t test for means because two particular reasons one small sample test, another one test for means. So, to test the mean, to test the significance difference means we have to use the t distribution t test in the small sample case. To test the means, if the sample size is uh, small then we have to use the t distribution. So, that is the reason why it is a t test for means. Hope, I hope you understand well, right. So, now I continue the problem. You see here, n1 is given as 6, n2 is equal to 10. That is uh, one more point I specify here. The sample sizes need not be equal. May be equal or may not be equal. Need not be equal. n1 is different from n2. Maybe N1, if even though if N1 is different from N2, we can conduct this procedure. Right. And uh, the case is sigma 1, sigma 2 are not, not known, not given. You observe the data here. In the data, it was not specified the population values. So, therefore, sigma 1, sigma 2 are not given, not known. If the sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known only, then we have to use the t distribution. So, that is the reason why we are we have to conduct the t test, t, t test procedure. So, when you see here what you have to calculate, the given data is here something like x i 63 to 72 the observations given x i square you calculate because you have to calculate the sample means the sample standard deviations two values you have to calculate x bar y bar. S1, S2, sample standard deviations. Therefore, to, to calculate the standard deviation, of course, it is required to calculate variance. Therefore, Xi square, you have to calculate. And similarly, you consider Yj, Yj, 61 to 73, the values of Y, and also calculate Yj square. Square of this, X61 square, 62 square, like that 63 square, 65 square, you calculate all the values and get the totals. 
दट इज समेशन समेशन एक्स आई समेशन एक्स आई स्क्वायर समेशन वाई जे समेशन वाई जे स्क्वायर विच मीन्स टोटल सम ऑफ द एक्स आई सम ऑफ द एक्स आई स्क्वायर सम ऑफ द वाई जे सम ऑफ द वाई जे स्क्वायर यू हॉट टू कैलकुलेट ऑल द ऑल द वैल्यूज फॉर टोटल्स एंड देन कम टू कैलकुलेट कम एंड कैलकुलेट द रिमाइनिंग वैल्यूज एक्स बार द सैंपल मीन फार्मूला वन बै एन समेशन आई इजल टू वन टू एन वन टू एन वन एक्स आई दट इज समेशन एक्स आई इज फोर नाट एट डिवेड बै सिक्स सिक्सटी एट सिमिलरली वै बार वन बै एन टू समेशन जे इजल टू वन टू एन टू वै जे इट इज नाट आई इट इज जे राइट सिक्स सेवेंटी एट समेशन वाई जे सिक्स सेवेंटी एट डिवेड बै टेन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट एट एंड सिमिलरली यू कैलकुलेट एस वन स्क्वेर एस वन स्क्वेर इज नथिंग बट वन बै एन समेशन एक्स ऐ स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स बार स्क्वेर समेशन एक्स ऐ स्क्वेर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर डिवेड बै सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटी एट होल स्क्वेर से गैट सम पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू दट इट बी टेन वी गॉट दम वैल्यू यू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू सिमिलरली एस टू स्क्वेर एस टू स्क्वेर इज नथिंग बट वन बै एन टू समेशन जे इजल वन टू एन टू वै जे स्क्वेर माइनस वै बार स्क्वेर वै बार होल स्क्वेर सो समेशन वै जे स्क्वेर इट इज फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टू डिवेड बै टेन माइनस सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट एट होल स्क्वेर वै बार सो सम वैल्यू फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स यू कैलकुलेट आल द वैल्यूज सो दट एंड देन नाउ कैलकुलेट कैपिटल एस दट इज ऑलसो रिक्वयर्ड स्क्वेर ऑफ एन वन एस वन स्क्वेर प्लस एन टू एस टू स्क्वेर डिवेड बै एन वन प्लस एन टू माइनस टू सो दट इज स्क्वेर ऑफ सिक्स इंटू एस वन स्क्वेर इज टेन एस टू स्क्वेर इज प्लस टेन इंटू एन टू इंटू एस टू स्क्वेर फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स डिवेड बै एन वन प्लस एन टू माइनस टू सिक्स प्लस टेन माइनस टू थ्री पॉइंट नाइन वन सो सम वैल्यू कैपिटल एस वी गॉट नाउ द फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नल हाइपोसिस ऑल्टरनेटिव हाइपोसिस test strategic under h not and uh, comparison conclusion null hypothesis h not v1 is equal to v2 what we have to test the sailors are taller than the soldiers are not we have to test so therefore we have to consider in the null hypothesis h not tailors or sailors are not taller than the soldiers that is uh, their heights are same that is uh, not taller than which means uh, Uh, somebody else uh, or th taller than that no not like that uh, it is uh, only the heights of sailors and soldiers are same are equal are same on an average they are same so mu1 is equal to mu2 and alternative hypothesis sailors are taller than soldiers sailors if you consider for the population the average heights of the sailors is mu1 for the population second population the soldiers the population of the soldiers if you consider the average height is mu2 then mu1 is greater than mu2 taller than therefore greater than mu1 greater than mu2 on an average that is the statement sailors are taller than the soldiers it is a mu1 greater than mu2 it is a one tile test it is alternative hypothesis we have considered and test a statistic under h0 Here the cases sigma one, sigma two are not known. We have specified very clearly at the at the beginning of the test. Sigma one, sigma two are not known. Therefore, by using t distribution, t statistic t is equal to x bar minus y bar divided by capital S into square root of one by n one plus one by n two. It is uh, substitute the values x bar sixty eight, y bar minus sixty seven point eight divided by s three point nine one. Multiplied by square root of one by n one six plus one by n two ten. So that if you sub, if you calculate this value is zero point zero double nine zero point zero nine nine. You check the value. You calculate the value and check check the value. Inference fourth point. Inference are con comparison and conclusion. What is the comparison and conclusion we can make? So first of all, modulus of t that is zero point zero nine nine, and then t alpha comma n one plus n two minus two. That is alpha five percent. N one plus n two minus two six plus ten minus two. It is fourteen. The five percent level it is given in the problem. At the five percent level of significance, we have to uh, 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 test this particular procedure problem. 
So therefore, for 5% level, 14 degrees of freedom and one tile test, it is one tile test, alternative hypothesis, you see here, here it is, one tile greater than. So therefore, one tile test, from the t-tables, student t-tables, we have the value here, t5% comma 14 at 1% one, one tile test, at one tile test, it is 1.761, the tabulated value or significant value, this is the significant value. And then, uh, you compare these two values, obviously 0 0.099 0 is less than 1.761. Therefore, modulus of t is less than t alpha comma n1 plus n2 minus 2, that is t5 percent comma 14. Significant value, which implies h0 is accepted. What is h0? The heights are same. So, we cannot specify one is taller than the other. The silers are cannot be silers cannot be assumed taller than cannot be assumed that that they are taller than soldiers. That is our final conclusion. That is H naught is accepted. Hope you understand. Thank you.